In the wake of the shootings, a Tampa Bay Catholic leader is sending a message. Bishop Robert Lynch of the Diocese in St. Petersburg says, sadly, religion, including Christianity, targets and often breeds contempt for the LGB community. News Channel H Jamel Linnae joins us now live from St. Pete. So, Jamel, what is the feeling from people who have read this blog? Well, Josh, it's a very touchy subject. You know, I just left the bishop's office here about an hour ago, and um, many of the people, they pretty much agree with what the bishop had to say, but some people preferred not to tell me their opinions on the matter. But not only did he touch on religion and the LGB community, but he also talked about banning firearms. Bishop Robert Lynch with the Diocese in St. Petersburg is writing about the shooting in Orlando where 49 people were shot and killed at a gay nightclub. It was somber. It was sad. A blog he published Monday has gone viral. I believe it's very appropriate for us to talk about issues when those issues somehow are in conflict with the commandments. Touching on several controversial topics that's played out around the Orlando massacre. He takes on religion and says, sadly, it breeds contempt for the LGB community. I also felt that the targeting and the language that's often used, including often used by Catholics, uh, relative to the LGBT community, um, it doesn't do any good. It harms. He also says, unless you're in the military, assault weapons should be banned. There's too many guns available, too readily accessible. Uh, the Second Amendment protected and gave us an opportunity to bear arms in protection of ourselves, but not in the elimination of others. And Bishop says not everyone agrees with his views, but he wrote it to get people thinking. It's a neighbor love that sometimes, and this particularly Pope Francis tells us, we have a responsibility to accompany these people, walk with them. Uh, the bishop also wrote that uh, banning anyone because of their religion for any reason is un-American. Josh? Jamel, did the bishop talk about any kind of response he was getting from his post? You know, he said it was only 24 hours and he had dozens of phone calls to his office with people who did not agree with his blog. But then he also said that, you know, he told those people, well, we could all te use this as a, as a teaching lesson. Josh. All right, Jamel Lene, live for us in St. Petersburg. Jamel, thank you.